Hello everyone, welcome to TechSapire. In today's video, we'll learn about how you can generate AI agents without doing any code. Even the code which is required is minimal, so you can use ChatGPT to do that. I will demonstrate that in the video. So let's kick start. So this is nothing but the Autogen Studio. So just to install, you need to install, uh, you can say create a Python virtual environment and then just install Autogen Studio and then just run it with this particular command this is uh, uh, there might be some setup issue you might face with the packages and all but they are all resolvable if you just use chat gpt and all but coming to the main crux of our video so this is an complete uh, studio uh, where you can create the tools now what is tool and what is uh, agent now let me explain you a lot of people misunderstand what is generative ai now generative ai is simply using an LLM to interpret the user response and then calling a tool with the appropriate parameters to generate some output. Give an example, let's assume you have an API uh, which need to be hit with certain parameter, let's say three parameters are required, let's say the name, address and phone number. Now what AI agent will do is, it will automatically fetch those information from the user prompt and once all the data is gathered, it will trigger the tool by itself. And once the tool is triggered, it will generate certain output. That's what the generative AI is in a very simple terms. Okay. So in this particular C, uh, here in the gallery, you can see the team agents. You can add your own teams and other things. But I will keep you in this example very simple so that you can understand. We'll create some tools also. So few of them I have just created. I And these tools are right now embedded into JSON. So let me just show you. But it's nothing but the Python code. So I have created this tool, one is validate temperature. What it do is when the temperature is prompted by the user, it checks whether the temperature is low, high and all uh, for a machine. And for an example, what I've done is I used, sorry, let me just go back to my team builder. So I have created one machine assistant. Now here you can drag and drop and add the agent. We'll create one in front of you. And here, what I've done is I have given a script to an assistant. Suppose my use case is I have an CNC machine or a machine which has multiple things. It has a panel to indicate the temperature. It has a panel to indicate, let's say, the some lights and display screen and also I just created a mock machine here which is explaining what how the machine operates. But one main thing is I have added a tool called validate temperature and I have said call this tool once the temperature is been collected from the user. And it can, the user can keep on talking. It doesn't require every time to uh, call a tool. But whenever it is uh, further information is gathered and the temperature is inputted, it will automatically trigger the tool. Now, in the tool, you can use any AI or any code or you can say API code, whatever you want to do. And let me just show you this tool example again. So, let me come back. Yeah. So this tool which I have created, it's written in the Python language. So if I show you, this is nothing but a Python. Now you can copy paste one of the sample here. Few of them will be sample and you say, uh, let me say, create me a tool in below format, uh, which you can say register and user and return back some registration ID ID make it mock mock use below format for this AI will automatically understand and it will pre uh, prepare as the JavaScript and so and so on so here the thing is username and email is required for you can say do a registration so I copy it I go to the gallery paste it here and the tool is there so once you have saved now your team will also be there the tool which we have just added so let's just see if it is already there so what is the tool name here so it's registration user so yeah let me just go back it has six tools I think it's not even listing uh, there is some problem with the scroll let me just delete one tool so that we can so I will just delete this generate card so that our tool can appear. There might be a UI issue which it is not touching. So now here the registration tool came in. Now I, once my tool is created, I just need to create a AI builder. Okay. 
so i will just say i will use this support you can say script this support script let's just check what it is you are an assistant designed to collect user information and so and so thing so let me add and give this script to chat modify this prompt for calling this dude And the main thing is you don't have to write any program. Everything is just prompt. So you want to explain it to a, you can say agent say if this then do this and if that then do that. You can use multiple tools also. It can automatically use those also. So I will just copy paste my script. So here my agent is ready. Now I need to drag drop the tool. I will just remove the previous tool. I will expand my tools. Drag it here. And now the tool is there. Now let's once this is done I will just save it in the team and let's go to the playground now in playground we'll start a support session support and we'll select our tool which we just created and i will say mm, my name is yogesh now it says what your email address yogesh like it's asking me so let's say my name is yogesh and my email id is yogesh.mehla at gmail.com and automatically here it will initiate the tool call now within the tool we can add a lot of things right now it is just generating a random id uh, in your logic you can write better things means like we can write a lot of code uh, whatever is required for registration and also that is up to us now just by drag drop you can easily create the agent so now let's create a complete agent from the you can say scratch so let's assume we want to create an agent for man, uh, shortlisting the resumes okay so let me just do one thing let me say create me an assistant prompt which will screen user profiles based on experience we require mid experience experience python developer provide me some sample profiles to test the prompt yeah let me just move camera up okay so now it has provided me an assistant kind of thing so i will just go and now we will create our hr bot i will just rename it to you can say hr bot okay now let's go back to the designer so here my hr bot is there so i will say so here i don't require the tool i will go into my assistant and i will copy paste this particular template whatever the prompt we have created now this is the profile now we need to test whether it will be able to select like this person is not shortlisted because it's two years because we require three to six years person but this person is a positive case so we'll add both of them whether our AI agent is able to screen it or not so we'll go to the playground i will say hr and select the hr now i will just copy paste the bot like ls profile whether see whether this is shortlisted or not and it will go as per the uh, you can say the prompt and say so so here it says ls Pro, uh, brown is a suitable candidate for python developer strength is she has four years of experience xyz now let's try with the other one where the profile doesn't match So Bob Smith doesn't met the criteria because he has indicates two years of experience, but requirement is 3.6. Now, how easily you are able to do? Now, let's assume a positive case. Let's say I want to interview the candidate who will give me the answers. So let's say, okay, create me and bot. Which will validate the candidate assignment for SQL developer interview provide 
some sample questions and answers for testing. So we are creating these bots on the fly means you can deploy them on production it's not about which now you require a developer to do this like even at let's say HR understands it uh, like what he needs to ask from the uh, you can see the candidates and all just create that and create a bot let's assume your panel your experienced developers are not available you can just shoot a mail and AI agent can ask the question as per the description so now let's just copy paste the prompt create one more team so we'll say interview and we'll go to the bot right now I'm just not adding the tool let's say later on once the candidate is submitted you want to create a tool where uh, once he has approved automatically and he pays it and so and so process happens where further in rounds can be scheduled that all you can manage in the tool section that's very easy again you can use chat to do, do that and I will just say like this is my candidate question and answer so I will go to my playground I will say assignment checker and I will select my prompt and my <coughs> so person has provided a query so it will validate whether the input is correct or not feedback correctness the candidate query uh, you can say uh, correctly retrieves top three distinct uh, salary or whatever the record is now let's assume let's take the negative case so which is the solution is incorrect we are having okay so let's take an example so give me a give me an incorrect case So let's take an example in this one we will just input the candidate wrong input and AI agent will be able to validate. So analysis correctness the query intended but it seems to miss requirement the order or the salaries so it knows okay this is not an correct order and it is telling what is the correct answer is but we can tell them like not to display the correct answers and all. So on this thing like you can easily on the fly create the bots you can deploy them you can deploy using the python and all and make it available. So you can see uh, how easier it is for us to create the bots and make them ready for day to day business operations. A lot of people think like generate AVI will replace the jobs but that is very, very far fetched generally the automation replaces the job not the generate AVI. Generative AI will allow you to add an agent on the places where there are no people. Give an example. So let's take, uh, let's assume you have to review some reports. Now uh, it's a one hour job or one 15 minute job. No one is speaking in the organization because they already piled up. But for 15 minutes you don't want to hire a person. So you just can create an agent and which can automatically detect what kind of the job is, they categorize it and send it to the different different uh, people or call the appropriate tools. So I hope I am able to clear you how the generative AI works uh, and how you can build your assistant very easily without doing any code or the minimal code which a chat GPT can help you out with. Uh, you can use it in your day to day operation means you can create bot which can analyze your SQL query and provide you a lot of tuning request and you can add your own domain knowledge also. Uh, in the next video I will show you how you can do a multi agent setup and how multiple agent can talk to each other give an example let's say one agent is handling the SQL query and one agent is handling the application requirement and the third is talking about taking user input and then validating and responding so automatically within the one bot one team itself you can manage these three bots I hope I am able to give you a quick insight on to Autogen Studio and how you can use it for you can say your day to day operation and generate the AI agent on the fly and Generative AI is very simple. A lot of people think they need to learn ML and all. No, generative AI is very simple. So you take the LLM to help understand the user input and create the appropriate package what is required by the tool in order to generate an output. That's what the generative AI is in very simple terms. If you have any question, let me know. You can add into the comments. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.